hello, EVs don't work. They're only for rich people and there's nowhere to charge them. Everybody knows that. That's what people say and stories in the press are full of them as well as YouTube. So let's take a look at some of the facts. EVs are only for rich people. Well, in the auto trader, there are 20,000 electric cars for sale, starting at under 4,000 pounds for 2012 Nissan Leaf. A used Hyundai and MG are much cheaper than they were used six months ago because new electric car prices are falling. You can get a four-year-old Hyundai for under 15,000 and an MG even cheaper. It makes me laugh when a YouTuber driving an electric car tells you not to buy one and they're driving a Porsche Taycan uh, and if he'd paid half as much for a Tesla uh, he wouldn't have any of the problems he has charging but then again there wouldn't be so many interesting videos to watch. I do hope you can like and subscribe and please take a look at some of my other videos. I'm hoping to get to a thousand subscribers pretty soon. So there's nowhere to charge them. Well, obviously, you can charge at home and there's at least half the population can do that. Or a friend or a relation or even a neighbour. But public charging, there are 44,000 electric vehicle charging points in the UK uh, at over 25,000 locations. And it represents a 36% increase in the total number of charging devices this year or in the last year and on target to meet the requirements for 2030. It's great news for public charging networks, but they do need to follow the example of Tesla and GridServe. It's no good putting one or two charges. We need a dozen or 18 uh, to meet the needs of the future. And putting in one or two charges will only frustrate people when they're being used. It's pointless, but at least Tesla and GridServe are doing it right and leading the way. There was a gentleman on TV, uh, the first time I've heard his social conscience concerned about children in the Congo, mining for cobalt in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where 70% of the world's cobalt comes from. Artisan mining there is unregulated and it's a small family business affair. And I agree, it's not acceptable that children are involved in the mining process and it has to stop now. There's very good organisations persuading the parents of the children that they should be at school and not mining for cobalt. However, my Tesla Model 3 and many Model Ys do not contain any cobalt or nickel because Tesla are going to the LFP battery. Now, most of the lithium is in Australia and who knows, one day Australia will be mining and exporting more lithium than they do coal. I hope so. Now also a lot of lithium is in Cornwall and a joint venture between the China K company and British Lithium aims to operate the UK's leading lithium hub. So that would be good news for the UK. My mum lived in the China clay area of St Austell for many years in the days when they exported China clay to the world and you could see dozens of ships waiting to fill up in St Austell Bay. And of course lithium can be recycled. J.B. Strobel, former chief technician at Tesla, is credited with the development of key Tesla battery technology. And he's established a company that's going to recycle batteries. Since leaving Tesla, he started a battery recycling company, Redwood Materials, and he's raised a billion pounds in venture funding and there will be a lot of money to be made recycling electric vehicle batteries, as well as phones, laptops and computers for those people that don't believe batteries can be recycled. I've never heard of a gallon of gas being recycled. Some people claim the brakes on the electric cars don't last so long, but reality is they last much longer because of the regenerative braking, always difficult to say, uh, which also puts more energy back into the battery as you're driving. It's virtually one pedal driving and uh, hardly ever need to touch the brake pedal and it's much more efficient. Toyota, the world's biggest car company, are trailing desperately behind in the EV market. They don't have any electric vehicles, but they led the field with the hybrid Toyota Prius 20 years ago, combining gas and battery power for some great miles per gallon numbers. It's true, the combination of gas and battery has led to some very unfavorable stories about hybrids catching fire. 
and pure electric car has been proved to be much safer than gas and hybrid car. Toyota managing director has left. They've announced, Toyota that is, 10 new EVs by 2026 in three years time. And that's good news. They saw the numbers of the other electric vehicles car sales in China now accounting for 30% and realized it was time to replace the boss of Toyota. And China is the biggest market in the world for cars. They're late to the party and have lots of catching up to do. In Norway, 80% of new cars are electric and in the UK, 22% of new cars are electric. So we're catching them up. So once you've driven an electric car, you never go back. And if you're one of those people at home watching who haven't got an electric car, two years ago, that was me. And a YouTuber in the UK who just said, just buy it. And I did. I'm saying the same to you, just buy one. It doesn't have to be new. There's lots of reasonably priced used Teslas. You can even get one with free supercharging. It will be a bit older Model S, but there's plenty of really good Model 3s at sensible prices, two to three years old. I do enjoy driving my Tesla Model 3, but people that have Hyundai and MG will also tell you how much they like them. Uh, and as I said at the start of the video, you can get a used four-year-old Hyundai for under £15,000 and an MG for even less. And obviously the advantage of Tesla is the supercharging network, but other networks like GoodServe are catching up. Try to avoid the greedy public charging networks like BP, Shell and Ionity. They are very expensive and they're being way too greedy. And don't forget, uh, whatever people say about charging, just because electricity has gone up, it's still often under a quarter of the price of charging a gas car. And Tesla superchargers are still half the price of gas. I do hope you can like and subscribe and thank you very much for getting this far. Please look at some of my other videos and please don't forget to take your reusable mug wherever you go. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.